Hi guys, in today's video I'll show you another cool trick for Instagram using GIMP and uh, first thing let's open the image that we want to uh, use to split and to create this seamless multi-post where you can scroll between the different images in the post and they make one whole image it's a pretty cool trick it allows you to sort of uh, zoom in and focus on some part of the image and really show it uh, up close to the people and then also as a bonus i'm going to add one third image that will showcase the entire image and this is a little tricky because in instagram as you know when you're making a post with multiple images you need to have all of them being uh, the same size so uh, that's why showcasing the entire image and having it uh, zoomed in sort of makes it a little tricky to do but you see there is nothing difficult actually so first thing open the image that you like just click and hold with the right mouse button and drag this over here and release the image now uh, the next thing i'll do is because we are going to need like i said um a third image when we're going to create it here i'm going to zoom out a little bit holding down the control key and turning the mouse wheel backwards and then holding down the mouse wheel to pan over here i'm going to grow the canvas towards this direction to do this go to image canvas size and i'm going to use this option here the width just click on the upper arrow and you see in the preview section how it grows to the right side and i think something like this will be enough so let's click on the resize option next i want this layer boundary to be uh grown here to do to uh surround the entire image not just here because this will create problems further down the line so go to layer here and click this option layer to image size and you see how the layer boundary grew and now it's all around the image next thing we'll do is we are going to crop the part of the image that we are going to use so grabbing the crop tool here click and drag like this in case you have the fixed option uh, on turn it off for now and here we are going to type 1 uh, 1080 actually and for the width we are going to i'm sorry for the height we are going to type in uh, 1350 so this is another standard size for instagram one is the square which is 1080 by 1080 and this one 1080 by 1350 is another sort of standard size for instagram we are going to use this one and now click on the fixed option because we're going to grow this it's just uh, too small in this case and let's just grow it like this and i want to show kind of the half of the face with the first image and then when uh, someone scrolls to the next image we're going to show the next half and then here will be the third image with the entire uh, image showcased so let's see something like this i think will be good okay let's uh let me grow it just a little bit something like this is okay then uh, i'm going to select this number and copy it and place it in the calculator you can place it somewhere else just to have it here uh, because we, can, we will probably need it uh, further down the line then uh, going back here to the size i want to grow this three times but only on the width so i'm going to uncheck uh, check this the fixed option and then star so shift 8 key to get the star by three then click enter to apply this number you see this grew three times and now i'm just going to crop it just click in the middle here then go to image and uh, use the option fit canvas to layers now i'm going to zoom in with the control key and turning the mouse wheel so this is our image that we are going to use now the next thing we need to place some guides again if you watched the previous video but this time we are going to use one more guide in the middle so i'll show you how to do this go to guides and the first one i'm going to use here by percentage i want to place one horizontal exactly in the middle so just use the default options click ok then we go to the image again guides and this time we're going to use this option here 
and we'll go to um, a vertical and now we are going to need this number 1950 click OK we have our first guy here now this is going to be our first image then we go to the image guides new guide and we need to double this number to place the next guide so multiply by two 39 two zeros click OK now the next option uh, the next move will be to uh, again load the image in GIMP as a new layer so I'm just going to go back here drag and drop it again now I need to um, get the number we initially had here again so I'm going to divide this by 2 and we have 1950 you see what I'm going to do with this I'm going to press shift s for the scale tool or you can just click it here for the on the uh, two options on the tools menu and then I'm going to add the number here so we need 1950 for the width click enter click scale now I'm going to press the M key for the move tool grab this and move it over here now you see in the middle of the image when we are moving it we have this plus sign this is the center of the image and this will snap to the guide also it will snap to the to this guide over here so it should be in the middle now I'm going to zoom in just to check you see it snapped exactly to the guide so this is good let's check the other side and it looks good here as well okay so next we are going to grab this tool here the free select uh, the rectangular select tool and we need to make a selection so we are exactly at the guide in the edge of the image and grab this side here and grow it you'll see why in a second place it exactly here now I'm going to use the control dot or um, let's actually do it from here fill in with the background color or you can use this shortcut control plus dot and this will fill this with white and I make a mistake here and I think I'm on the wrong layer yes um, so before this let's uh, just flatten the image let's just flatten the image from here and now when I use this it will fill with the white color so control shift a to deselect or you go here select none and then then we go back here and make another selection down here so the idea of this is to it will make it look nicer when uh, viewed in Instagram with the white uh, bands around the image especially for those who use um, white theme on their uh, phones if you use a dark theme you may see your Instagram will be in dark mode so this will not matter that much but for the rest again the same option control that control shift a to deselect and now M key over this guy click with the left mouse button grab this guide and just uh, place it here over the ruler and this will remove it so when we now we are going to slice the image and um, to do this again we are going to use the same as the last tutorial the filters web slice and uh, okay this showed up desktop here jpeg yes for the folder those are the three options we are going to touch desktop jpeg yes and click OK this will slice the image now let's go to the desktop to see what's happening here are the images and you can see them here so when you upload them and make a multi post where you make one post with multiple images first this one this one then this one so the person that views this will see first this one and when you scroll it's just going to smoothly transition to the next one and kind of make uh, an entire seamless image and then the third image uh, you will be able to showcase the entire image so this is a very cool way to uh, zoom in in an image and showcase it on instagram pretty nice effects and that's it pretty easy to do as you've seen 
to be even easier if you don't want to showcase with a third image if you just do this it's much easier to do so that's it guys for this tutorial hope it was useful if it was uh, like the video subscribe if you're new you can use the new thanks button if you want to support the channel also i include a link in the description towards my inkscape tutorials channel i intend to come back there too and that's it for this one guys i'll see you in the next one soon bye for now